now we're going to look at connotation. Um, for this video, I'm going to be real honest, keep it short and sweet. And to the point, I'm probably not going to do everything because a lot of it is review for us as far as the annotations go. But I am going to go over the main points that you need to be focusing on. So connotation is when you examine the poem for meaning beyond the literal and look for figurative language, positive and negative words, imagery, sound elements. So this is where we're really going to combine our figurative language and our tone stuff together just so we can look at it. So um, when you see connotation, think annotation because this is when you're really going to sit down and be like, okay, let's interact with this poem some more. And you're going to start doing your highlights. So how does the figurative language change the overall meaning and are the word choices negative, positive, or neutral? Which of course will help us when we get to our attitude part and to our shift. So this is a hefty hunk of what we need to do, which if you notice, is probably one of the bigger parts. So let's go. So first thing I need to do is I need to highlight figurative language that I see in yellow, just to kind of help me look at it. Um, let them be as flowers, of course. I'm going to highlight this as yellow because it is a metaphor. He's saying, let them be flowers. So he's going to go and continue to compare other people to flowers. So you notice how when I was doing the paraphrase, I had to keep it very literal and straight to the point. When you start highlighting your figure of language, this is where you get to start thinking about, okay, he's saying that people are flowers. And then your next step, when we get into this a little bit more and we start thinking about the theme, is, okay, so he's saying people need to be cared for. But when they're cared for, they get stuck. So that's our next thought process. Meanwhile, he said he'd rather be a weed. Again, I'm going to highlight this in yellow because it's more figurative language. It is, again, it's another metaphor. So he's saying other people are flowers, but he's saying that he is a weed. Okay, which, of course, I've already kind of hinted on right here because it said I'd rather be. So I already put it in my paraphrasing. But like I said, our next step is to take our paraphrase and add it to the figurative language we see. And that's how we'll end up with our theme. So it'll help us later. Okay. So if I keep reading, there is, of course, like an eagle. So that's more figurative language. So not only is he saying that he's a weed, but he would like to be. He's not only is he a weed, but he's a weed that's like an eagle and free. So you see how it goes with what I had put in my paraphrase. So to have broken through the surface of stone, to live, feel exposed to the madness of the vast eternal sky. So again, he's just continuing with that imagery. So you are welcome to highlight that and put imagery, but if you can already know it and express it um, then you're good but this feel exposed to the madness of the vast eternal sky he's definitely talking about the weather and the elements but instead of just saying being exposed to the weather he's saying of the madness so <clears throat> we have more figurative language there where he's comparing the weather to that state of being crazy and unpredictable to be swayed by the breeze of the ancient sea, of an ancient sea, carrying my soul, my seed, beyond the mountains of time into the abyss of the bazaar. So, again, we have a whole, whole bunch of figurative language in here. A lot of metaphor, a lot of description. Okay, so in this carrying my soul, my seed, some hyperbole because obviously your soul isn't going to be carried away but if you know anything about plants you know that seeds are often carried so then we just have to figure out okay what is he being dramatic what is he exaggerating and what exactly does he mean when he says his seed is being carried off so we have to know about the symbolism of what seeds could be they could be ideas they could be dreams there's a lot going on and then beyond the mountains of time so he's comparing time to that ragged, endless landscape of a mountain. So we got some more metaphor into the abyss of the bazaar. Gracious, that endlessness right there. So a lot of figurative language in this one. So I'd rather be unseen 
then shunned by everyone. So whew, some hyperbole because I know that that seems I know that, that seems a little like okay that's not very dramatic or very exaggerated but I'd rather be unseen and if then shunned by everyone. Like he's really just saying that he would like to be invisible which to me is very very dramatic because I don't care how much you wish people would leave you alone people really don't want to be invisible that's just my take on that then to be a pleasant smelling flower growing in clusters of the fertile valley where they're placed handled and then plucked by greedy human hands so again we have more of that metaphor if you hadn't noticed the whole poem is an extended metaphor so he's constantly comparing people to flowers and then building on that so we could really highlight the whole thing in yellow if we wanted to but that is too much highlights so we're going to break it down and just hit the things that we need to i'd rather smell of musty green stench than of the sweet fragrant lilac if i could stand alone strong and free i'd rather be a tall ugly weed so he finishes up again with that stern pronouncement of that metaphor where if he's a weed he is strong and free so this guy does not agree with that herd mentality of being with other people, apparently. He has a lot of feelings. So your next step is after you've read it through it and you're like, okay, I can see this figurative language. I understand that now. And I get where it goes with my paraphrase. You would go back and highlight negative words in red and positive words in green. If hi highlighting over your already yellow highlights bothers you, you're also welcome to change the text color. Right, so madness definitely have a negative connotation gonna change it to red i might make it bold so it stands out okay but that's how we would focus on it meanwhile i feel like like an eagle wind wavering hot above high jagged rocks although jagged is negative in and of itself because of what it means that the idea of being like an eagle wavering in the wind i don't know if y'all watch enough planet earth to know how eagles fly but that i highlighted it and put in the wrong color that's definitely a positive thing plus in our life always being compared to an eagle or a bird is always a positive symbol because birds are the epitome of what it means to be free they can fly and we can't they already have an advantage okay so there we go. So that's how you're going to think about it. And then you continue on. There's some more. There's some more positive and negative words, but I feel like y'all get the gist of what we're doing. Uh, if you come to Zoom class, we'll break it down even more. So finally, how does the figure of language you found change the literal meaning? So this is where I take that yellow stuff. And then, I, like I was telling you, you had to think about the thought process with your paraphrasing. So the figurative language. So I type before I can finish explaining. So the figure language shows me that he is comparing himself to a weed, right? And that weeds are free, unlike flowers. So he keeps pointing that out over and over again, that he doesn't have to deal with people. He doesn't have to, um, he's not stuck where he's planted. Like he gets to go and be free. So this means... The speaker wants to be free and different, even if it means he is alone. So that would be where I, my figurative language really helps me keen in on what does this actually mean versus flowers versus weeds. Because before, if you weren't paying attention, it'd just be like, okay, cool, this guy really likes plants. But it goes beyond that when you actually start paying attention to the pronouns and what he is really hitting on.